Hello viewers, welcome to my channel and today's topic is uh, synovial biopsy. So what is it? But before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, please do not forget to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel, you know. Uh, now I come to a topic, uh, you know, what is uh, uh, synovial biopsy, you know. You know, every joint in the human body, it contains the synovial fluid, you know. And the synovial membrane secretes the fluid into the joint cavity. And its function is that it lubricates the joints and allows for the ease of the movement, you know. And the synovial membrane is also uh, the main place where the inflammation occurs in the joints diseases such as arthritis, you know. And uh, your doctor may recommend performing a sort of, uh, like a synovial biopsy if they cannot give the diagnosis which is based on the routine examination, you know. And uh, uh, they might also order this bio, uh, test, you know, if they think you might have a synovial infection, you know. And the synovial uh, bio, uh, uh, biopsy process is becoming more common when performing the research on arthritis in the joints, you know. So these days it's a very common test, you know. And it's also known as a biopsy of the synovial membrane that lines the joint, you know. And this is another name, you know. And this is because the process actually involves removing a piece of the membrane for the examination, you know. And uh, your doctor may need to perform uh, the biopsy after they have completed more routine exams such as physical examination. And your doctor may also perform the biopsy when they suspect that you may have an infection or maybe gout, you know, and uh, which is a type of arthritis, you know. And uh, the biopsy can also help to diagnose uh, other causes of the joint inflammation such as uh, autoimmune disorders, you know. And uh, it may help uh, if your doctor suspects a metabolic disease such as uh, a hemochromatosis, you know, which involves the, like the uh, deposition of iron or the cancer, you know. The next thing is, uh, how do doctors perform this test? Well, the biopsy is an, it's an uncomfortable test, you know. And, uh, but with the proper local anesthesia, uh, the pain is like uh, tolerable, you know. And uh, you will feel a prick or maybe burning sensation when you receive the local anesthetic to numb that area you know and you may feel some discomfort when you your doctor like uh, removes the tissue you know but you may also experience some discomfort after the procedure as well you know and uh, the discomfort is uh, it very based on whether you had a closed needle procedure or a hand uh, like arthroscopy you know and uh, you should notify your doctor before the test if you are pregnant or if you are uh, uh, taking any kind of medications or if you have any bleeding problems, you know, or you are allergic to any medication and uh, or taking any over-the-counter or prescription medications, which you should always tell your doctor, you know. And uh, especially if you are pregnant or if you are taking uh, the uh, blood thinning medications, you know. The next thing is about the, the procedure type, you know, whether it's a closed needle process or maybe arthroscopy, you know. You know, in case of... Uh, the closed needle process you might undergo the like uh, this procedure art at your doctor's office you know and this is known as a closed needle process so this process does not require any incision it's safe it's effective and it's the easiest way to collect the tissue samples you know but again it depends on which joint is involved you know and uh, your doctor will inject the local anesthetic into the site to limit the pain and to limit the discomfort and your doctor will then insert an instrument called uh, like uh, true call into the joint you know okay and uh, a true call is an instrument that is uh, slightly larger than a needle you know so sometimes that's known as true call needle you know and it's typically used to for the aspiration and to clear the space of the fluids, you know. And uh, your doctor will then like uh, thread a tissue grabber uh, through the trocar 
uh, to cut a sample of the like uh, synovial membrane you know so this is the easiest way you know uh, and the alternative is like uh, arthroscopy uh, which is performed in your doctor's office and your doctor may perform a procedure using arthroscopy you know and it is a, a surgery that's common method used to diagnose and treat the joint diseases you know and the main difference between the arthroscopy and the closed needle procedure is that your the surgeon will insert a tiny camera and uh, a light source into the giant uh, with a small incision you know and this allows the surgeon to see inside the joint uh, and another small incision allows your surgeon to insert that like tools to remove any of the tissues or maybe the cartilage or maybe the bone or maybe the fluid you know and arthroscopy is more complicated and is kind of expensive than the closed needle procedure you know and it allows your doctor to get a larger tissue sample and to see directly into the joint you know if there is any growth or any other abnormality in the area you know and uh, following the procedure your doctor will apply uh you should apply the ice to the joint to reduce the pain and the inflammation and you can begin to do light physical activities several days after the procedure you know and uh, limit your physical activity to light activities such as walking etc you know so don't do any vigorous kind of work you know well is generally safe and uh, it's very rare that uh, you have any risks you know but which sometimes they may include like uh, difficulty in breathing or maybe bleeding in the joint or maybe blood clot or maybe uh, discomfort you know a reaction to the uh, medications you know stiffness or soreness or maybe injury to the blood vessel or the nerve you know or maybe infection you know but these are rare well next thing is about the interpretation of the results you know you know abnormal test result could indicate whether a fungal infection a gout maybe an abnormal accumulation of iron deposits in the joint you know maybe tuberculosis maybe uh, cancer so now we'll cancer you know maybe autoimmune disorder or uh, like uh, rheumatoid arthritis you know so uh, it could be any of these you know and your doctor will review and discuss with you the results Uh, and uh, then uh, he will uh, advise you about the more suitable treat uh, treat uh, met option for in 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 your case you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical procedure any test any medication you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you and goodbye